This kind of war, a study in unpreparedness, is a compelling and thought-provoking work authored by T. R. Fehrenbach that delves into the Korean War. Published in 1963, the book not only narrates the events of the war but also serves as an in-depth analysis of the factors that contributed to the unpreparedness of the United States and its military in facing the challenges of the conflict. Through meticulous research and eloquent prose, Fehrenbach sheds light on the shortcomings and complexities that characterize the American military's involvement in the Korean War. Fehrenbach's central thesis revolves around the idea of unpreparedness, highlighting how various factors culminated in the U.S. military being ill-equipped to handle the demands of the Korean War. The author argues that a combination of political, strategic, and cultural factors played a pivotal role in shaping the course of the war. Fehrenbach suggests that the U.S. military's focus on conventional warfare tactics and its failure to adapt to the unconventional and dynamic nature of the Korean War contributed to its unpreparedness. One of the key strengths of Fehrenbach's analysis is his attention to historical context. He explores the aftermath of World War II and the subsequent demobilization of the U.S. military, which left it understaffed and under-resourced. Fehrenbach convincingly argues that this demobilization created a false sense of security, leading to a lack of preparedness for future conflicts. Furthermore, he contends that the political climate of the time, marked by the rise of McCarthyism and the fear of communism, influenced the decision-making process and hindered critical assessment of military readiness. Fehrenbach's examination of the military leadership's role in the unpreparedness is equally compelling. He highlights how the generational gap between World War II veterans and the younger officers in the Korean War era led to a disconnect in strategic thinking. The author asserts that the adherence to traditional strategies hindered the military's ability to adapt to the evolving nature of warfare in Korea, where asymmetrical tactics were prevalent. This disconnect, as Fehrenbach argues, contributed to initial setbacks and a steep learning curve for American forces in the early stages of the war. Furthermore, the book delves into the cultural and psychological aspects that impacted the American soldiers' performance in Korea. Fehrenbach examines the challenges of fighting a war in a distant and unfamiliar terrain, where harsh weather conditions and guerrilla warfare tactics took a toll on the morale and resilience of the troops. The author's vivid descriptions of the soldiers' experiences provide readers with a poignant insight into the psychological toll of the conflict. In addition to the analysis of military and strategic factors, Fehrenbach also explores the diplomatic dimensions of the Korean War. He examines the shifting alliances and interests of various nations involved, highlighting how the complexities of international politics influenced the course of the conflict. Fehrenbach's nuanced exploration of diplomatic dynamics underscores how global powers exploited the situation for their own gains, further complicating the war effort. In conclusion, this kind of war, a study in unpreparedness, by T. R. Fehrenbach offers a comprehensive analysis of the Korean War, focusing on the unpreparedness of the United States in facing the challenges of the conflict. Through a meticulous examination of historical context, military leadership, cultural factors, and diplomatic intricacies, Fehrenbach presents a well-rounded assessment of the factors that contributed to the unpreparedness of the U.S. military. The book serves as a cautionary tale, reminding readers of the importance of adaptability and preparedness in the face of evolving conflicts.